Welcome back, folks, to Twinkle Tips Friday. This is Clyde here from Pixel Pro Displays. Let's get started. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Clyde here from PPD. Thank you for joining me again for another awesome Twinkle Tips Friday video. This one is kind of a jump off from our uh, webinar that we held on Tuesday nights. Now, every Tuesday night we get together in the PPD Zoom room. You can click on the link down below in the description uh, to see more information about when we have a PPD webinar. We hold them every two weeks. Uh, and then on the off weeks, we have a open mic night. So if you have questions, it's that time of the year where you might have challenges or frustrations or issues. And uh, you could jump in the Zoom room with the crew here at PPD. And uh, there's a it's a fantastic Tuesday night get together. So uh, you're welcome to join us every Tuesday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with uh, what we want to teach you today, which is about the VU meter. Now, I did... Uh, an entire class it was about an hour long. I didn't think it was going to last for an hour, but there was a lot of information packed into it. You can see the video up there. Uh, I'll link it up uh, to this video here. You can click on the card and watch the whole video. Uh, we covered a ton of information, but this was the question that was asked at the very end. Uh, and it's a very simple way uh, to utilize the VU meter and utilize it in a manner that is uh, simplistic whenever it comes to uh, making uh, certain beats uh, bump to a certain count of the beat. I'm hovering over top of what's called the new timing. We have, a, we have an MP3 here. If you don't have an MP3, what we're about to do, you won't see because you have to have MP3s or some sort of WAV file or music or something in the box here in order to activate these. So we'll right click and we're gonna add a timing track. Now, notice how wide the box is. If you don't have any MP3 or any sound or anything in here, this is gonna be a real short box, just only as wide as the okay and the cancel button. So what we'll do is we'll go to the drop down, and I'm looking for specifically the bars and beats tracker beats. And what beats does is it tries to find the closest approximation of a beat in your song, and it tries to set them at a 4-4 timing. That usually works pretty decent. 3-4 timing may not work so well, um, and it takes a little practice, but you know, it, you learn as you go. So we'll go ahead and we'll go to the timing name. We'll call. It, we'll let it be called Beats. There are uh, beats per bar. There's four beats per bar, and that's the only thing I do. I just let everything else sit as default, and bam, I click OK, and it's done just like that. So um, now, if I play the music here, hopefully you can hear it. So. Well, if we zoom in here, I'm just hitting the plus key on the keyboard. If you zoom in here, you can actually see one, two, three, four, and this is repeated through the entire song. And so, one, two, if, if we count it out, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you can see that some songs have a very good downbeat and other songs have a good upbeat. So maybe you want the song to only, uh, maybe you want some way in your sequence to only hit the number two beat. That's where they really accentuate things in the song. And you want to hit that beat pretty consistently. Let me show you how to do that. And that's what we, that's the goal today is to show you this awesome addition, this NX Lights. And what we'll do is I'll just put this on the group here, the group of arches, and we'll stretch this out. So when you hit VU meter or you add VU meter to your sequence, the first thing, the default is going to always be the waveform. What I'm going to do is I am going to um, change this to timing event. Any of the timing events will do this, I believe. Uh, let's do this and do this to timing event pulse. And if we change our timing track to the beats timing track, we should now see that you see the, the, the everything's flashing to the beat of the music. So again, we'll play it. And, and if you want to play around with VU meter a little bit, you can extend it out so that it has less of a uh, strobe effect and more of a, you know, a, a, a pulsating effect. So that's, that's what that bars does. But the other thing that you can do is you can go to this filter label and you can say, I only want you to beat on number two. So if we add the number two into there, 
and now we play it, what X Slice is doing is just telling the VU meter, hey, I only want you to beat whenever there is a number two on the timing mark of the selection of the timing track that you've laid out ahead of it. So if you have a, a number of beats that you want to hammer out, you don't have to create your own individual timing track for each and every one. But this is another thing that you can do. This is kind of the advanced side of this. You can go in here and you can right click, insert another layer below. And let's say we copy and paste this. And let's say we put, uh, I don't know, the green color here. And we want the green color to beat on, let's say, the four timing. And so now we have two, four, two, four, two, four. And, and that's as easy as it is. I mean, it, 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 this is super easy. It's, it's a great addition in x Lights. Really makes things a little bit easier. And it's one of the fun things that you get to play with thanks to the great things that were added into the x Lights software. Huge thanks to the developers for that. Well, guys, that's your Twinkle Tips Friday. I hope this video was helpful, informative, and it saved you a little bit of time and frustration using the X-Lite software. Like, look, there are a million things that X-Lites can do. Um, it's figuring out what works for you, when you're going to use it, and how to use it best in the situation that you'd like to use it in. If you like the video, please give us a huge thumbs up. If you haven't done yet, so hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications as well. And if you appreciate the things we're doing here at Pixel Pro Displays, we work really hard to create an awesome new to the store PPD sequence each and every month. You get your choice of three songs total. Actually, for October, we're going to have four. Uh, right now, September of 2023, we have four songs in there for you to choose from. So it's pretty, it's been a pretty good deal this year. Let us know in the comments what questions you have. We want to take care of answering your questions. We want to find out what it is that you need to learn more about so that we can direct the content to fit it more to your style. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you next time. <laughs> Take care. Bye for now. You can click on the link in the video description to find out more information about our weekly, uh, not weekly people. You can click on the link down below.